Hi, I'm Tanya, and I make videos for learning Russian, mostly about handwriting and cursive, but not only. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, and check the resources below the video. Ah, and each Friday I'm streaming for free online lessons of Russian language. And today, in this video, I'm gonna talk about languages in Russia, but wait, wait, wait. Why languages? Uh, why plural? Do Russians speak English? Finally! Nope. You still have to learn Russian. And you know, maybe not the Russian only. But first, let's talk about the word Russian. When it comes to America or Mexico or, I don't know, Argentina, it's clear who are Americans, Mexicans, or Argentinians. And when you say that somebody is Mexican, it means that this person is from Mexico. But with the word Russian, it's not so easy. Yes, the first meaning for Russian is somebody who are from Russia. But being Russian is more like being from the European Union and just saying, I'm European. Okay, but what country? Russia has lots of different ethnic groups and they are as diverse as countries. So, a lot of regions in Russia have their ethnicity. For example, I am Ruska, means that my ethnicity is Russian. I have Ruska name, Tatiana, and my family speaks Russian. I'm also from Russia, so I'm Rosyanka. And in English it's translated again Russian. So I'm Russian Russian. Hmm. And this is Habib. Habib Avarets means that he's from Dagestan and his ethnicity is Avar. And in his region people have their own traditions, history and pride. So Habib Niruski on Avarets. He is not Russian, he is Avar. Habib живет в России. He is Russian. He lives in Russia, he is Russian. So, he is Russian Avar. There we have two adjectives. Российский refers to Russia as a federation, as a country. In English it's Russian. Русский refers to ethnic identity and culture. In English, it's again Russian. So, here people can be Russian, but not Russian at the same time. And there is a thing that I love about Russia. All the ethnic groups here, all the nations and all the people are equal. We're all citizens of one country. We have equal rights and freedoms. And the only difference the ethnic groups have is their cultural background. And it's really interesting. You might have heard that Russia is big. And you know, I love traveling by car and for me Russia is just endless. But it's really different. Each region is like another country, with its own capital, nation, holidays, religion and local government. I lived in five different regions and I have been to almost all the regions that Russia has and it's an experiment. Once I even traveled for almost 11,000 kilometers by car. We traveled to Tsiletska Lake and back. Tsiletska Lake is the heart of the Altai Republic. And before I had gone, I was asked if there are any other languages widely spoken and used in Siberia and Altai and uh, different regions on my way, I was like, I don't know, Tartar -tar maybe? But I was sure that there is probably some tribes with just a few speakers and that's it. Nothing special. I was one. Mm -hmm. So we crossed Bashkortostan region and set our tent on the bank of the Kondraku lake and it turned out to be a trendy spot. Huh. And nobody there spoke Russian. Yeah, they know Russian, but when I started speaking with our neighbors, they switched to Russian and it was fine. But in their companies, they speak 
Tada! Bashkiro language. Then use, yeah? And if you know Russian, it doesn't help you at all. Bashkir is a Turkic language, the Kipchak branch. So it's closer to the Kazakhstan language or even some Arabic than Russian. Bashkir is the official language in Bashkortostan. Let's listen to the abstract of regional news. I can't understand anything. And this is in Russia. Isn't it fascinating? This is the website with the Bashkara news. I even don't know what it is and for me it's kind of like maybe in Chinese or I don't know any language that I don't know and even can't read. Yeah, I even can't read it. Something is surely going on there. But I can only guess. I don't know Bashkir. This is the map of the Bashkortostan region. And this is the map of the language area. It's about one and a half million speakers. Bashkir even has three dialect groups. Southern, Eastern, North, Western. Take a look at the alphabet. You can find a PD with it below the video. Bashkir has a written variant of the Arabic script from about the 10th century till 1923 when after the revolution Soviet government started replacing and adapting the local cult cultures and languages. So, after 1923 until nowadays they use Cyrillic letters with some special edit ones, like this ones. And uh, if you'd like to chat and type in Bashkir, you'll need a special keyboard and fonts. Look how cool they are! The phonetic system is original and obvious that it's not like Russian or English. I found one side in English and I want to share it with you. I'll try to read and pronounce some sounds, okay? Okay, as you can see, here we have spoken corpus of Bashkir. So, here we have the maps with the regions. You can see there, and here we have, aha, uh -huh, transliteration. Actually, I do really love this website, because here we have a lot of English information. You can read it and understand, and believe me, it's really rare to find something about Bashkir in English. So, I hope they'll develop it, because the language is language Aha, language is pretty cool okay so i'll try to read some words so here we have a uh, like ahas uh so that's a tree so what else let's find something oh yeah s sur big something really big oh i love this one yo only in Russian loan words. Oopsie, sorry. But here we have some a lot. Like in Russian, I can understand this one and I can't understand this ones. Okay. Uh, so, oh, yeah. I love this one. That's Kwa. Voila. I do really hope that I can pronounce it at least almost right. So, uh, what else? S. See who go out. Great. Okay, actually, you can try to read it. I'll give you this link below the video. So, also, you can read about this language a little bit more and tell me what you think about it. Good luck. I found a video on YouTube and suggest you watch it to get to know how it sounds. Uh, you even can try to repeat. And this woman is not me and knows how to do it right. And up to this fact, they could have a slight accent in Russian. It's cute and sounds original. You can listen to the interviews with locals in Moscow, for example, and then in Bashkortostan, both in Russian. Write me in comments, can you hear the difference? So, do you want to know more about Bashkir and their language? Just take a look at all these nice places. Rivers, forests, cities. 
You can visit national fests, try national cuisine, and buy some local souvenirs. So, that's it about Bashkir language. Now, we'll move then to the next one.